Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make text larger and easier to read with the Zoom dialog box in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Courtney in Quincy, Massachusetts, one of my Platinum members. Courtney says, a couple of users in my office have asked if I can make the text in a couple of the fields on my forms larger for them. However, I want to be able to see as much information on the screen as possible when viewing the record. Is there a way to just zoom into that field when it's being edited? Yes, Courtney, there are a couple of things you can do. The first thing is to use the zoom box, and it's real easy. Let me show you how. So here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download it off my website if you want a copy. You'll find a link in the links section down below in the description below the video. But you can do this with any database that you want. So I got my customer form. And let's say you got a whole bunch of notes here in the notes box. You got a whole ton of stuff in here. Now I want to be able to see as much as possible. I don't want to jack up the font in just this box all the time. Because me, I want to be able to see a lot of stuff. But yeah, I know some people have... Poor eyesight. I, I'm included unless I got my big thick glasses on. I can't read anything. So if you want to zoom into just this field or just this field or any field, click on it and hit Shift F2 on your keyboard. That opens up this Zoom dialog box. Now, I use this all the time in my classes because if I'm typing something in like a, a calculation or whatever in a query and it's really, really tiny, I want you guys to be able to see that in the video without me having to zoom the video way in. That's a pain. But this opens it up nice. Right, you can go into a query. Let's go into a query here. This customer last first, for example, design view. This is kind of hard to read down here, right? But if I click on that and I hit Shift F2, it zooms in nice and big. And you can make this window bigger. All right, so I can, so you guys can see it more clearly. You can change the font. Right, here's the font dialog box. Change the font down here. You can bold it. You can make it larger like that. Now it's really easy to read. Right, you can resize this box. Put it wherever you want. Hit OK, and it puts that text. Back into that box right there. So, save changes, yeah, sure. Come back into your form, click here, Shift F2, and zooms in. And now everybody can read that, right? I'm going to turn that bold off. I don't like the bold, though. Let's turn the bold. Let's go back to regular. There we go. Much better. See that? That's it. That's the Zoom dialog box. You just got to remember Shift F2. Teach your people Shift F2. That's, that's simple enough, right? This works pretty much everywhere. It works in tables, it works in queries, it works in forms. Well, it doesn't work in reports, though, because you can't really click on a field in a report. Now, if you want to learn more in the extended cut for the members, I'm going to show you how you can zoom in that box and actually change its size, make it bigger right on the form. Right? We could change the font size, the boldness of it. We could change the background color using something called the on got focus and on lost focus events. All right, so in the database here, if I click on the customer form, right, if I click on this field, watch what happens. Boom. See that? And as you're, as you're typing, as you're tab, 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 tab over to it, right, there it goes. It, it blows up in size. See that? That's kind of neat. That's covered in the extended cut for the members. Requires a little bit of VBA, a couple lines of code, not much. As a reminder, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. There's well over 200 of them now. And gold members can download the database how do you become a member click on the join button below the video after you click the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available each with its own special perks silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos one free beginner class each month and more gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that i build in my tech help videos plus my code vault where i keep tons of different functions that i use You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry. These free tech help videos are going to keep coming. 
As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.